guitar. So then I started my solo project five years later. I went solo and uh, I put together a three-piece band because I wanted to prove to the world that a woman could play guitar. So I got rid of the guys that played guitar in my band and it was just myself on guitar, a bass player and a drummer, a la Jimi Hendrix style. And um, I was signed within three months. I got my first record contract. But then the label didn't know how to market me because I was a guitar player. Not just a singer, but a guitar player. I seem to have this, this, this trouble throughout my entire life. At one point or another, people would get confused and not know how to market me. I was like, well, you can market Joe Perry, you can market uh, all these other great bands, but you can't market me when I'm actually doing the same thing as what they're doing. I'm playing guitar. The only difference is, is they're, they were their balls here, and we were our balls up here. <laughs> That's the only difference. So anyway, 40 years of rocking and 40 years of not taking no for an answer. We do what we want to do because it's in our blood and we love it. And I couldn't have done it without these people here, John and Ellie, Nick, Marshall Amplification, uh, Bernie Rico Sr. who created BC Rich Guitars. Some of the finest guitars I've ever played. I'm gonna play one in a few minutes. Uh, Dean Markley's guitar strings, they, they have a Lee Ford signature model, which is pretty, pretty killer if you want to check out some new strings. Um, I've got the Runaways down here because Kim Fowley, uh, what an eccentric man he was, but he had a vision to create this teenage, all-girl, jailbait, rebellious group of monster teenage girls, and we were. We lived up to our reputation, and we loved every second of it. <laughs> Troublemakers. Uh, team Lita, we've got uh, Josh Fedick and Bobby Collin. Um, my band, Patrick o o uh, Kennison, Marty O'Brien, and Bobby Rock. Um, my producer, Gary Howey, and uh, I want to thank Lon Friend, because Lon Friend was the first man to put a woman on the cover of RIP magazine, on a rock magazine. They would not put a, a woman on the cover of a rock magazine until Lon came along and he just said, screw it, boom, there's Lita. It was the largest selling issue of the year. Whitmore. Laura Whitmore, thank you so much for putting on this event, Laura. And I want to thank uh, Parade.com for the live stream. And I think it's time to rock. Yeah, I need a guitar. Ready? Let's rock! Alright, let's let Lena go get ready to rock. Alright, thank you. Okay, so before we close, don't forget, when this is over, I want to show you rocks the words on a waste of